Hello, so today I'm going to be continuing the construction of my wood car sculpture. It's carved from a block of laminated cedar. So you can see the boards laminated right there. This is reclaimed cedar and the figures are carved straight off the surface here. So today's the carving of this section. Let's get cutting. So here we are with my piece ready to go, all laminated up. So my first order of business is to mark off where I do not want to remove material. A lot of times I like to put X's where, where I'm going to be removing material because during this stage, So I have a variety of chisels that I use. This is a gouge, so it has a nice curve in it. So when I'm taking away chunks of material, it's a great one to turn to. Um, cedars are relatively soft wood, so there's a good chance if you're carving something like cedar that it's just going to um, split right along the, the grain. If this was hardwood, it would take a lot more hammer strokes and it wouldn't be splitting along the grain necessarily. You would actually have to cut all the way down.
basically to a point where the rest of the figure is going to be more, uh, more or less um, used for um, me whittling around. So, yeah, next, next step coming up. Flattening out some of the surface of making the the, uh, the surface underneath the carving itself flatter. So I'm kind of tracing along the line of the the plane of the rest of the tabletop. Oh yeah, I would kind of regard um, this as a tabletop, even though it's not a tabletop. Just the way I'm creating the um, sculpture. It's almost more of a side table or something along those lines that that ha just happens to have a sculpture, a carving coming out of the surface. I really like that kind of mix of practical and artwork. <clears throat> 